What's going on everybody? I'm D Thomas from NC. I'd like to welcome you back to my channel. A few months ago, I did a video showing you guys how I connected my eight terabyte to my PS4 Pro. A lot of you guys found that video very informative. Now, if you're new to my channel and you have yet to see that video, I will have it linked below in the description. Now, there was one particular question in the comment section that I kept seeing over and over. And that was, can you connect more than one external hard drive to your PS4? For. And if you can, can you put different games on each one of those hard drives and play them? At the point in time I didn't know the answer to that question, that's why I'm doing this video because today I have two external hard drives, both of them are 500 gigabytes, and what I would like to do is plug this one up, format it, put a game on it, play that game, power down the console, connect this one format it, put a different game on it, and play that game, and see if I can flip-flop between the two. So, without further ado, let's find out. Alright guys, I am using my wife's PlayStation for this, so got it plugged in, there we go. You can install applications on the USB storage device. Alright, so what we're going to do is go to settings, and we are going to go down to storage. Okay, where's the extended storage at? To use the connected USB storage device as extended storage, go to settings, devices, USB storage devices, select the device. Okay, so what we gotta do, okay, let me just back up out of here and we are gonna go to devices and scroll down to USB storage devices. And there it is right there. So let's go ahead and select that because we gotta format this joint, man. Okay, to install applications on this device must be formatted. Okay, let's select that. And you can install applications in extended storage. Okay, select next. This device will be formatted. Okay, let's go ahead and format this device right now. This device will be formatted as extended storage. Are you sure? Yes, I am definitely sure. So let's go ahead and format that. Shouldn't take too long and it's finished it has been formatted all right let's go ahead and select okay and there it is guys 459.2 gigs so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put a game on this extended storage so let's go back to settings go down to storage go to system storage oh it's still calculating okay there we go we're gonna go to system storage and go to applications and let's find a small game. Let's see, there we go. Right there, I'm gonna go with unravel. It's only three gigs. Let's go ahead and move that to extended storage. Move, press okay. And it's moving. Let's go ahead and speed this thing up. It's gonna take 30 seconds. All right, so it is done. So let's back up and go to extended storage just to make sure that it transferred over with no problems. And there it is, unravel, three gigs. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we are going to fire this game up. All right, just to make sure that it works. This right here is actually a pretty fun game. I played it whenever it first came out and I enjoyed it. I never did beat it though. I don't even know if you guys ever heard of this game, but it's pretty dope. My wife has never even played it. Look at this new game. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start it up. Definitely a game you should check out. No microtransactions at all. <laughs> oh man, what's up grandma? Grandma in there, what's she looking at? All right, guys, so you see that the game is working. You got to go through this cinematic. Let me just go ahead and back out of this game right now because it works. All right. So let's go ahead and close this application. All right. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to power off the console, unplug this external hard drive, and I'm going to plug in the other one. All right. So let's do it. All right, guys. So I just powered back up the console and I have the second extended hard drive plugged in and we're going to go to unravel and you see that little triangle in the bottom right hand side of the game. 
that means it's not on the console and I wouldn't even be able to play it so basically we're gonna do the same thing that we just did with the other hard drive we're just gonna format it and we're gonna put another game on there so let's go to devices USB storage there it is right there now let's go ahead and format now I'm kind of curious to why PlayStation won't allow two external hard drives to work at the same time all right go to format that because on the Xbox one you can use two simultaneously I'm kind of curious on why Sony won't allow that or will it come with a future update hmm I don't know okay it's been formatted okay 459 gigs all right guys so let's go ahead and put another game on this go to storage I'm gonna let it finish calculating all right there it is extended storage applications there are no applications on here so let's go ahead back to system storage applications and let's find another game to put on here something really small oh let's go with that right there this jam it's only two gigs let's go with that move to extended storage move all right select okay and that's gonna take 20 seconds let's speed this thing up all right <laughs> there it is unravel system storage exclusive data I don't even know what that means but it's not on this uh, let's go to extended storage applications and as you can see this jam is the only application on here so let's go ahead and play some disk jam and uh, we should be good to go right where the heck is this game at let's see okay there it is right there all right so let's go ahead and power this game up and this joint just came out on a switch too but I'm not gonna double dip because I already got it on the PS4 as well. All right, this game needs to update. Powered by the Unreal Engine. All right, this jam, press any button. It's connecting. I know it needs to update, but it's no big deal. Let's go down to training. And uh, guys, as you can see, see, basic tutorial. As you can see, it's working with no problems. There it is. This jam working on the second external hard drive. All right, so let's back up out of there, close that application because we now have confirmed that they both work. All right, so if I try to play Unravel right now to start this application, connect the extended storage device, it is installed on. It's on the first hard drive. So that's confirmation right there more than one hard drive it does work all right now guys if I unplug the external hard drive while the console is still on watch what happens an extended storage device was not disconnected correctly did you did you see let me bring that back up just to make sure you guys saw that if an extended storage device is not disconnected correctly data loss corruption or damage might occur you do not want those problems so make sure that you power the console off before you unplug that extended hard drive what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to power off the console power it back on and we'll see what it says on the screen when it boots back up all right guys power back on the console and let's see what we got you saw I just disconnected that while it was still on. The extended storage device you just connected was not disconnected correctly the last time it was used. Okay. Uh, to use this device, you must repair it. So select OK and repair it, and you should not have any issues with your game, hopefully. <laughs> just be sure to power that joint off, man. All right, so we should be able to play this jam because that's the one I plugged back up. Unravel is not on this one. Let's go see if we can play this jam. All right, so it's downloading. There's an update for it. So there it is, guys. You can go back and play it, but I got this update going on right now. So I guess I just answered the question. You can use more than one external hard drive. All right, guys, there you have it. You can utilize more than one external hard drive 
with your PS4 console. It doesn't matter if you have the original PS4, PS4 Slim, or the PS4 Pro. It will work across the board with all of them. But keep in mind, you only can use one external hard drive at a time. It's not gonna support both simultaneously. Also keep in mind that if you are gonna be switching between these external hard drives, be sure to power down your console completely before you do so. You don't wanna have any corrupted data or anything like that as far as the game getting damaged. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If this helped you out, if you found it informative, show your love, give it a thumbs up. See you guys in the next one. Peace.